What is up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Today, I Complete Stupid Ideas. And why is that? That is because today, we're doing full body tracking using the touch controllers. It's been a while since we've done an episode on some weird full body tracking method. So, I decided, you know what, let's make it happen. So before the video begins, don't get excited. This is not standalone full body tracking. I'm not here to clickbait you guys if that's what you came here for. I'm sorry, but you're going to be disappointed. We are going to be using base stations. However, we're not actually using the base stations for full body tracking, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Basically, there's a common myth going around on the internet, and I'm calling it a myth for now because we're about to bust it, as to whether you can actually do full body tracking with the Quest cameras, whether that would even be possible if Oculus wanted to make it happen. Because as you know, the Quest cameras are all the way up here and your legs are all the way down there. So can the Quest cameras actually see the controllers on your legs if they were to be used for full body tracking. So basically what we are proving today, the myth we are busting today is essentially going to be, is standalone full body tracking even possible with Quest cameras? If Oculus was to release an accessory, could they be using the inside out tracking system? Or would they have to make full body trackers, something along the lines of Slime VR, where they use the sensors inside the trackers themselves to track their position? Well. Today, we're gonna find out. Okay, so this was actually an idea I had a little while back, but I scrapped it because I was like, you know what? We have other methods of full body tracking right now. We're not gonna go into this. However, yesterday, I saw a person on our Discord using pretty much this exact method to do hip tracking using touch controllers. It re-emerged my interest in it. So what we are doing today, we're gonna be using index controllers as hand tracking. We're using these as the controllers. We're not using the Quest controllers as controllers, we're using these as controllers. And the only reason we're using these as controllers is because I only have two Oculus Touch controllers and not four. So these essentially have nothing to do with the full body tracking. We're proving a myth here. And then what we are going to do is because we only have two Oculus Touch controllers is we are going to use these on our feet, and then we are using a woe track to track our hips. And that is how we are getting pretty much the most jank full body tracking setup I know of. And yes, I know I could strap the index controllers to my legs and have pretty much perfect full body tracking then, but that ruins the point of busting this myth. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the software side and get this party started. So first thing you are going to require if you are doing this for whatever reason, is you will need these little USBs. I've made a whole video on that, so I'm not gonna drag you guys through the setup. I'm gonna do that in the background and come back to you guys. If you guys are interested as to how to get the index controllers connected to your Quest, check out this video right up here. Essentially, you are going to need some VR dongles to connect the index controllers to your PC. These are the Watchman dongles for Steam VR, And then you need to calibrate it all to get it all in the correct placement. So again, I'm gonna get that done and be right back to you. Okay, so... <laughs> It's looking quite promising. I won't lie to you. Uh, even in the Oculus home, these are detected as long as I'm looking at them. That could be what proves to be problematic. But I guess, you know what? That's what we're here to find out. Steam VR fail. Let's uh, launch Steam VR, calibrate these and see what we can do. Okay, so a few things here. First of all, I had to do one touch controller and one index controller. For some weird reason, I could not get the two touch controllers to be trackers. It, they always just went half-half and there was no option for me to change that. But watching this, it's actually surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. I originally thought that the Quest wouldn't even see the controller to begin with because it is kind of low down and slightly hidden, you know, on a shoe. But it seems here that it actually did a very decent job. Now, when moving my leg around, yes, it tracked. It tracked a lot better when in view of the cameras. I mean, that's pretty much obvious. When I sat down, yeah, it had a little bit of issues, but that is also obvious because there was no way the Quest could see that controller. So it was going off of just AI positioning or just making the controller disappear entirely, which is what the Quest does when it can't see the controller. It just kind of disconnects from it. So here you can see the flaws of a system like this. You see the issues that Oculus would have if they were to use the cameras on the Quest for full body. It's not really possible unless you have some crazy AI algorithms working alongside that for when the controller is in view of the cameras. You can actually see multiple times where the controller isn't in view of the cameras and then snaps right into place when it goes into the view of the cameras, which again is kind of jumpy. Conclusion, don't do this. I mean, as if that wasn't already obvious from the very, very beginning. I spent about three hours trying to figure out 
why on earth one of my touch controllers decided to be an index controller and the other one was a tracker. You can't actually have two of them be trackers at the same time. So I went for a compromise. I did one Oculus touch controller is a tracker and the other one I hold, held in my hand while the index controller is a tracker. I guess it's a nice comparison between the two because you could see how much better the index controller was at tracking. You can now see why people say that you can't really use the Oculus touch controllers as full body trackers. It worked very, very well with inside out tracking when the controller was in the view of the cameras. So it's not a range problem. It's more a problem of the cameras aren't really facing down enough in order to be able to see the tracker, controller, whatever you want to call it, when it's out of view. Now, let me surprise you. When I moved my leg back and forth like this, it did actually work very well. And I'm assuming that is to do with the IMU and the other sensors inside the controllers, being able to monitor that movement when it is out of view of the cameras. However, it was not able to be very accurate when I went sideways without the view of the cameras. So the back and forth movement, actually no problem. That was very surprising to me. I, again, I assume that is because of what Oculus does in order to be able to know what you're doing, let's say behind your head when you're grabbing a shotgun in Robo Recall, for example. No, this is not a good idea. I did it so that you don't have to. It was just a stupid little experiment for us to do. Do not buy index controllers just to do this. You might as well buy full body trackers. However, I did also find out that the index controllers do make for some pretty damn good full body trackers. So I might be using those for now until I receive the Tundra trackers. Even though I do prefer the index controllers as controllers to the touch controllers. But look, if that's the only way I can get have full body for now, so be it. So what did we learn? Oculus does have the means to do standalone full body tracking. They do, of course they do. They could make something like Slime VR. Very accurate, very wireless, full body tracking. No lighthouse is needed for that. And from what I've heard, Slime VR is going to be fantastic. And they don't even have issues with drifting. However, I have not tested it yet, so I can't speak too highly of it. Seeing that the controllers are able to be tracked behind my body when I move my legs like this, as I showed you, that shows to me that yes, as a matter of fact, that is possible and you can make it happen with just sensors. You don't need the inside out tracking cameras in order to make it work well. That's just the way the Oculus ecosystem tracks the controllers. So there is no, oh, only use the sensors when you're out of view of the cameras. It's more like, freeze and wait to come back into the view of the cameras. It would look kind of weird in VR chat if you did decide to, for some weird reason, torture yourself with this method. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. We busted a myth. Yes, that the myth is true. You cannot really use the cameras on the quest in order to do full body tracking. Oculus would need to figure something else out and not use the cameras or use the cameras when in view of the cameras, but then use algorithms and AI in order to figure out where the controller is when out of view of the cameras, which again, looking at Slime VR seems to be possible. Maybe it's time we start tweeting at Oculus to give us full body. <laughs> Please don't do that. No, guys, don't torture them. They, they already have enough work. The next issue after that would be to incorporate it into all the games as the quest is already struggling, uh, let's say in VR chat standalone. I can see where that would come, issues would come and things like that. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me today on this torturous journey. If you guys like... <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. And if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick merch down below that doesn't put a huge adding body and mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. If you guys are not yet part of our community, we have a Discord down below. We also have a Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spice memes. And if you guys want to be notified of extra content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your hoarding my balance again next video. Peace.